Yes, Liz, one of the candidates calls it a confrontation, the moment he realized he was living contrary to God's will. God wanted him to leave everything behind and become a priest. Deacon Victor Manuel Bolaños describes the moment he was called to serve. And it was so compelling that I had no, I could not resist. I, I had to surrender. I had to quit my job and leave everything and enter the seminary. Deacon Bolaños had arrived in New York from Ecuador 10 years before. He was a single, successful engineer working for a telecommunications company. I was growing in a, in a spiral of selfishness because everything, I was the center of everything, no? Everything was for me. Now that he has found his call, Deacon Bolaños says he has found true joy. He will be ordained on June 4th. Alongside him will be Deacon Mark Bristol, who also comes to the priesthood after years in another occupation. I'm a veteran of the United States Navy. Um, I've been serving for the past uh, 14 years. In 2009, he was deployed to Djibouti, Africa. We had the opportunity to go outside of the wire and um, really reach out to the villagers there, teach them English, help them in uh, charitable ways by providing them uh, health care or running water. This time in Africa confirmed his call to serve. He hopes that he can bring this experience to his priestly ministry. Be present to other people in their time of need and uh, most of all to uh, bring the presence of Jesus Christ uh, to those who uh, are lost or in darkness. When I asked these men how the people of Brooklyn and Queens could help them in their call, they simply asked for prayers. For Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh. Liz, back to